Hey, for the most of you guys that don't know me, my name is Justin Groff and I'm a 20 year old entrepreneur that owns a landscape company. I'm actually at one of our customers' properties right now, taking the box truck, you know what I mean? You gotta take whatever's available <laughs> truck wise, but we're gonna trim these trees a little bit off the tennis court here and then that Bradford pear, it's a big mama. Uh, we're trying to get it all shaped up and ready to go for the winter. But I wanna talk about the importance of cash in your business, cash flow in your business, and also how to leverage it to get nice equipment like this. Hands down in business, the most important thing that you gotta think about is cash flow. And that's why knowing your numbers, the KPIs within your service-based business is so, so important. Knowing those details will allow you to scale exponentially compared to the rest of the industry. Remember in business, cash flow is the flow of money. That's it. It's simple. You got to keep it simple in order to know it. But literally, that is it. The flow of money is the single most important thing in your business. And once you know how to manage that and control that, then the rest of your payments, expenses, payroll, paying your vendors off, whatever that is, equipment back there, nice equipment, it's gonna be so much easier to pay because you know your numbers and the timing on when you need to make that happen. I think most of every business starting out is gonna deal with the cash flow struggle and figuring it out. And it's honestly the best thing to have the problem with because it's the most important thing. So you, you know that it's the most important <laughs> after you go through that struggle. I personally dealt with it and I'm glad I did because now I know what to do and the better systems that we need to improve the AP side, you know, of receiving our receivables from our customers to pay our people, our team, our vendors, those trucks, the equipment, all of that. When you get a grip of your money and handle your money well, your business is gonna handle you well. Now I mentioned KPIs, which means key performance indicators. Keep it all simple, right? There's a lot of these in different industries. I don't care where you're in, you're gonna need KPIs if you're gonna build something great. I'm not gonna go in depth with the KPIs in your business. Maybe that could be another video, but it basically just tracks everything detail by detail of how you're doing. What's the health of your business like? Second thing I wanna go to is cash, just cash only. Now cash is trash because if you're not using cash in your business, it's dead money. So think about the ways that you're gonna use it so then it's not gonna get taxed and it's not gonna be sitting dead losing value. When you put your cash into assets like real estate or a business that's gonna flourish and create passive income wealth for you, that is smart rather than keeping it. When you hear a lot of the schools telling you save, save, save your money, it's actually making it dead, dead, dead. It's not working for you. You want your money to work for you. You don't wanna work for it. But in your service business, it's very important to keep those cash reserves ready in case you have to get a payroll where a customer you know, doesn't pay you on time. That timing is super important. So when you have those type of cash reserves ready for in case anything that happens within your business, then it'll help you in the health of your business to stay afloat first off and to not lose your reputation between your employees, your vendors, and also the people that are allowing you to have these trucks, these trailers that you might be financing. Now, when I started my business, I bought a lot of my trucks and equipment in cash. If you wanna build a big business, the cash buying model will not last you that long. Because let's just say you need four trucks for this one $1.5 million contract or a million dollar contract, let's keep it simple. You need four trucks. Do you think in your account that you'll have that amount to buy those four trucks, the trailers to get it or whatever, if it's a box truck like this, you need mowers, you need weed whackers, you need edgers, you need blowers. Do you think you'll have the enough cash to buy all of that at once? Probably not. And that's okay because you know what? It's good debt. See, I know on an average with our lawn care maintenance crews that it'll take 80 to $100,000 to even start one truck and trailer or one box truck like that just to start it that's why you need to be able to prove to the banks that you can sustain these trucks these truck payments these trailer payments these mower payments all the equipment that you need 
for the loans that they're giving you. Because if the banks know that you're gonna be able to pay off these payments over time, then they're gonna help support you on that. Also, I know a lot of my mentors that are doing big landscape companies or big service companies around the country, they're mentioning credit lines from banks. If you have a great relationship with a bank, I would recommend getting a credit line for the future so you're able to get cash fast when you need it. That's why in the beginning with your service business, try to find a small local bank that you can really, really gain a relationship with over time so then they can help you support when you're at 5 million in revenue or 20 million or 50 million in revenue. I'm not saying all debt is good debt. You gotta also realize there is bad debt in business as well. But I'm just saying, if you wanna scale quickly and fast in your service-based business, leveraging cash is one way of doing that. Yo, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is what I've done with my service-based company. I'm not saying you have to do it, but it's helped me a lot. And you also wanna think about not over-leveraging too. There's such thing as that. It's a long story, but I just want to give you the basis and the simplicity of leveraging cash to do stuff like this. But be careful of not over leveraging because that is definitely a thing, especially when markets crash. You do not want to be over leveraging your business. So do not think I'm trying to tell you over leverage because you don't want to do that at all. And don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.